Hi everybody, here's Christian from Team Orcast. Meow. <laughs> I'm happy. Man, Cthulhu, what what are what is this? Why are you wearing it's happy? It's what is happy? Happy is a uh, magical cat from the anime fairy tales. Oh my god. Uh, and yep. Nexella is playing, uh, Shepard is playing as Nexella. Yep. So this is our let's play of Monster Hunter Generations and we're now doing a bunch of cat quests. Yep, we're gonna run, running with the knight in the Jurassic Frontier to kill 15 Rhinopolises. Or Rhinopoli, uh, from the Jurassic Frontier Ecologist. I'm studying the nighttime ecology of the Jurassic Frontier, but some Rhinopolises keep getting in my way. Can you help me? They like to charge foes, so try luring them into walls to stun them. Alright. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay. Be quick. I'm gonna hit them with soccer balls. Yeah, Is I have a soccer ball myself. Weapon? Yeah. Wow. Oh, you're both using the Uniqlo weapon then, Shudo, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm using I'm using a Garuga weapon. I didn't have the coins for the uh, uh, the fairy tale weapon, so I was like, hey, we'll use the soccer ball. I just want to end it as quickly as possible. <laughs> so, okay, okay. Hey, it's me. I'm here. Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> the harmonica version is the best. I really cannot actually enjoy that scene anymore now that I've seen it. Harmonica version. For those of you watching years later, remember No Man's Sky? Mm. I wonder how that is. <laughs> How'd that turn out? I heard it was. I heard it ended all other games. You never needed another game again. Nope. It's because yep. it has it all. But, but then wait, it actually didn't. It had everything. <laughs> I, I I'm feeling sad about the way this this No Man's Sky thing went, and I feel like it's really the the hype that 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 killed all of this. Like if it's, this was just a random game that nobody expected I, this came out, it would be really nice. I I I think the like hype was one thing, and then I think the the marketing deal with Sony kind of yeah. really pushed the hype over. I think it brought the price point up to way higher than it needed to be. Oh yeah, because because it's a like um, physical game, so that yeah. means they cannot actually sell it at lower than sixty. Yeah, no, was that it, true? They yeah. can't. Yeah. They can't they offer could, discount? but it was Sony was like, "Oh, this thing is so hyped. Let's why 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 sell it for less than sure. what we know." Sure, you can always mark it down later. Yeah, I, are you sure? Did you ever well, release any uh, physical games? versions of Trauma? Did that ever happen? Excuse me. You ever, was there ever physical editions of Trauma? There is one. You can get one from uh, from the publisher. Um, what's the publisher? Um, uh, Head Up Games. They made a. It's a really beautiful special edition. I actually made everything in the edition myself, even the cover. I may nice. have to pick that up. That's really Put nice. Put that on my uh, Christian shrine, right yeah. next to my um, chin strap hair that I've preserved in amber. Yeah. You should. It's uh, there's actually my, a picture of me in, in that. So. Nice. Wow. Um, then it really can be. In the Is it uh, EU only? I'll have to probably pay uh, some import, import um, tax. But... Yeah, my, you might have, but you know, it's it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Okay. Um. Yeah. These rhinos, they just don't want to show up. I yeah, they're, they're pretty about. rare. There's a lot of, of them here in, in six. Is that where all, where they're all hiding? There's none in eight. Wow, just like I just—I guess I'm not really good at this. I'm just, I'm just the best at at slaying the monsters. I really am. With uh, rhinos, you got to make sure to like not hit the fronts of their heads. They like take like ten hits if you hit them in the head. Only like four or five if you hit them in the body. Mm -hmm. Or you could sleep bomb them. Yeah. No, there really are a lot of rhinos here. <clears throat> I 
Right. Let's let's get this monster in the butt. Get him in the butt. So um, what? What? So in the butt. So yesterday I recorded like a, for example, like a session of uh, um, No Man's Sky. Was it yesterday or, or the day before? It might have been the day before, uh, where um, I, I found a beautiful planet, like really beautiful, like like green with like red trees. Yep. And it was amazing. And then I found some animals on there as well, and I called one of them uh, like a midlife crisis Pokemon. <laughs> because it looked like a, mid like a Pokemon that was kind of past its prime. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, losing hair and stuff like that. So I called it midlife crisis Pokemon. And then I realized too late that the midlife crisis Pokemon was an aggressive hunter. Uh oh. So uh -oh. On, on my way to. Much a, like most a drop Pokemon bot, I was, experiencing I was a midlife crisis. It. Yeah, it was like the Pokemon. Itself was playing kind of like Spaceman Go and was trying to capture me. And then uh, I got killed for the first time in the game, and I was like, wow, this paradise turned into a hell on earth. It's a nightmare. It was really great. If you guys are here, actually, how many are left? Two. And there was another, like, ostrich or something that looked like a mech from Steel Battalion that was also great. Oh, I miss Steel Battalion. Hmm, such a good game. It's such a good game. Hmm. It's Best game ever. It really needs like a modern remake. Uh, they did. Yeah. With the Connect. Oh, That's exactly man. what the fans don't, don't. of Steel Battalion wanted, right? Motion controls? Mm hmm. That's what every game wants. Full wanted. body motion controls? Man, could you imagine, like, doing Steel Battalion now with that actual, like, Whole keep like the massive joystick panel and with VR? like a VR helmet. Oh, that'd be great. Oh man, that would be so great. Seriously, that would be amazing. And then tracking the position of the of the jo uh, joystick, so it, it's actually you know yep. you're actually in the cockpit. Oh. You wear like a special glove to where it senses where your hands are, so when you're in game, you actually see the uh, your hands touching the controls, so you know where everything oh, is. Oh man, that would be dope. That would be <laughs> so dope. See now, we, now with the modern technology, we could pull this off. You could do it now, like it's straight up. Like it would be really easy to do. Like that, that entire uh, joystick system has a lot of empty space inside it, where you could attach the sensors needed to make sure your hand movements were, yeah. you know, captured correctly. Definitely, definitely. So I guess we should think about that as we move on to the next quest. I hope we'll join us on the next quest when there's going to be more cat excitement going on. And as always, good luck and good hunt. You know, my Hi, meow. my armor set is like a mech suit. I'm actually controlling it. It's like a Tigrex suit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's fully mechanic. It's biomechanical, actually. It, it, oh god, it, this is oh oh god, that's horrifying. <laughs> Do so you mean in every Tigrix there's a tiny little shepherd inside, like a cat shepherd? This one does. Yeah. Blocked up by Doritos and Mountain 2, Squatty Potty takes on the toughest challenges, leaving you feeling empty. Squatty Potty.